What's up, Trevor Bachmeyer, Smashworks.com, bringing you all the good stuff for free, real hacks, real results. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the snapping, popping, clicking, grinding, pinching, burning, aching, you know, I can't get my hand above my head or behind my back kind of shoulder pain. So if you've got any kind of shoulder issues whatsoever, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. The premise behind how these ball and socket joints work is that they have what's called joint centralization. So in this case, with the arm, the head of the humerus looks like this, right? It's got a big ball on the end of it, has a little bit of a bend in the top. It looks like that, at least the way the, uh, the bone kind of comes out. Sits in something called the glenoid fossa. The glenoid fossa is the dip coming off of the scapula that the shoulder itself, that the humerus itself sits in. And then you have this cartilaginous ring that runs around the side called the glenoid labra. That is designed to deepen the socket. It's also an anchor point for some of the rotator cuff muscles. So we want to make sure that this entire joint remains in that centralized position. When you have a snapping, popping, aching joint in your shoulder, or you have a difficult time getting your arm above your head, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because the joint's losing centralization and it's binding up somewhere. Well, today I put together four steps that you can do that are going to basically address all the various problems that come into play when your shoulder hurts, pinches, aches, burns, jams, you know, pops, snaps, cracks, all that stuff because it's doing all of that because it's not working properly. Imagine that this is your humerus, this is your spine. So this would be me standing like this. What the rotator cuff muscles do, specifically three of them, the supraspinatus runs across the top, the infraspinatus runs across the bottom, and then the teres minor, which is up underneath here, what they all do is they wrap, there's the, the subscapularis as well, but that's in the front. So that actually does the opposite of what these three do. So what they do is they wrap around the head of the humerus, and then when they contract or when they're functioning properly, they pull back the way they're designed. So instead of being in this position, what they do is they allow you to open up your shoulders and sit in that nice central position. Now, if you're missing that position, your shoulders naturally will migrate forward because the chest is a much stronger muscle. And as a matter of fact, the lat is a much stronger muscle. Lat is an internal rotator of the shoulder because it comes up and wraps around the inside, same way the chest comes and hits on the inside. So when they're really short and tight, if you do a lot of push-pull for your exercises and nothing else, it's going to force the shoulder to do this because they're just giant, powerful muscles. These three rotators, they can't keep up. So what we want to do is we want to anchor that shoulder in the position that it's supposed to be in. So when you bring your arms overhead, when they get here, the head of the humerus, it's not banging into the top of the joint. It's not reducing space and pinching on, like the supraspinatus gets beat up because the head of the humerus rises up instead of sits in that nice central position. So when you raise your arm, if this is the head of the humerus, when you raise your arm, it bangs into the top and it starts to saw away on that supraspinatus. Next thing you know, you have a shoulder impingement or you have a torn rotator cuff, which is just one muscle usually, and that's usually the one. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid all of that because the best way to get out of shoulder pain and out of shoulder problems is to never have them in the first place. There's one more thing that comes into play, not just these rotators. There's a, a band of tissue that surrounds the entire joint. It's like a big giant tissue bag and it, it allows the synovial fluid to stay in place. That's the lubricant that allows the joints to slide around and keep the hyaline cartilage, the joint surface, um, gliding past itself the way it's designed so nothing gets worn out and you don't smash bones into each other. That joint capsule tends to get tight. It tends to get really tight. I keep looking at this like this is an arm. It tends to get really tight right across the back. So I'm going to show you how to check it and then I'm going to show you how to fix the entire shoulder problem. What we want to do is we want to take our arm, we want to internally rotate the entire arm. Like I just grabbed my arm and spun it inside. So I'm taking my hand, I'm putting, listen, if you listen quietly, that's ribs. So I'm gonna take this, slide down the ribs, if you're ticklish, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna jam the lap down into the floor. That's gonna keep my shoulder blade in place, and now I'm just gonna test it. So if I can, if I can bring the outside of my elbow across the center of my body, if I can do this without doing this, if I can only get to here, there's a good chance it's a joint capsule problem. If I go all the way across and I go, well, that's not the problem. 
well, it's probably one of the other three issues that I'm gonna fix in this video. Well, the first thing we wanna do is call the posterior capsule stretch. It's really, really straightforward. I am pinning my shoulder blade to the ground right now. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna hook around, and I'm just gonna grab it. And then I'm just gonna turn like this. What I don't wanna do is raise myself up off the ground. You just wanna take your hand and bring it as close to the floor as possible, hang out, two minutes. That's number one. What I wanna do is externally rotate. You've seen me do this. What I don't want is this. That's why I'm taking the video from the side. I don't want this and I don't want this kind of position. I want my arms to be in this position and you're gonna focus on keeping your arms against the wall until they get to just slightly past here. Then bring your elbows in as far as you can. It's different than I've had you do it before. And then you're gonna come back down. You're gonna go back up, all the way up, keeping the blade of your hand, the inside blade of your hand, against the wall. So you're gonna, this will make your shoulders on fire. Now, your elbow's gonna come off the wall at the top. It's supposed to in this variation, all right? That's the modified version of the wall. I'm gonna come forward so the band is pulling me back. So if you look, where's my shoulder? It is in perfect upright position. The only difference is my forearms behind my head. That's it. My shoulder is where it's supposed to be. You're gonna feel this lat because the lats are always so tight. You're gonna turn just a little bit. You're gonna turn and you're really gonna bring this over. So I'm actually leaning, stretching all of this tissue along this side. And I'm gonna let the band pull my shoulder open. Now when you start to feel this relax a little bit, I want you to take this elbow and I want you to bring it towards the floor about 10, 15 degrees. So you're gonna bring it forward. You're gonna feel your lat fire. Hold, 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 hold. And then bend a little more. Hold, 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 hold. Bend a little more. So this is just an Otoland mini band, 10 pound resistance. It goes at the wrist, because I want you to work on external rotation, and I'll show you what I mean. So elbows past the box. This is the chest press through, right? You've seen this one before with a dumbbell grabbing the back of your head. I just did this one in another video. So we're gonna externally rotate. So I'm forcing the band apart. While I'm forcing it apart, oh, that's miserable. This one's so much more difficult. I am gonna try and push my chest into the ground. That's ugly. All of this stuff I just gave you, it's only four exercises. It's only four drills. Super easy to do, three times a week. No more snapping, popping, pinching, aching, burning, tight, can't move, hurt, wake me when I sleep, shoulders, ever. It's a Christmas bonus. We're gonna stand. I'm gonna show you how to set your shoulder. I've shown you this before, but if you haven't seen it, watch the magic. Hand on your hip. So, hand on your hip, like that. I'm gonna take my elbow. I'm gonna rest it against the rig. I'm gonna stand nice and tall. I'm gonna let the shoulder come forward, right? So the shoulder's coming forward. I'm just gonna push back with the elbow, then listen. <laughs> that sound was my shoulder. You've just set your shoulder. Now, congratulations, you know how to do everything. Listen up, Trav, Smashworks. If you like this video, like it, follow it, share it with someone you care about that has shoulder pain. Don't keep this stuff to yourself, it's free. By the way, go to my YouTube channel. Everything's there. I'll check you guys out later. Peace out.